1995, a bomb was detonated outside of the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building. The attack killed 168 people, and one of the first rescuers to respond to the Oklahoma City bombing was Sergeant Terrence Yeeke. Yeeke desperately tried to expose what he found at the scene to his department and gathered his own evidence as well as survivors' testimonies. Yeeke was going to go public with what he saw, but he would not live to tell his tale. According to his death report, Terrence slashed himself 11 times on both forearms before cutting his own throat twice in his car. Then, he got out of his car and crawled a mile away to a fence which he climbed over. After he climbed the fence, he shot himself in the head with a small caliber revolver. There also appeared to be rope burns on his neck, handcuff bruises to his wrists, and muddy grass embedded in his slash wounds, strongly indicating that he had some help in traversing this final distance. No weapon or note was found at the scene. Prior to his death, Terrence reportedly told a friend that he was being followed by the feds and had to shake them. It is strongly believed that Terrence Yeeke found evidence that the government was involved in the OKC bombing.